Artificial intelligence is all the rave. We're hearing about chat GPT. We're hearing about AI taking over. I saw a video yesterday saying that Terminator is coming true because in the vid in the movie in 1984, he said in 40 years, artificial intelligence is taking over and people are losing their mind. Well, here's the truth. If that is even true, there's probably absolutely nothing we can do about it. So here on Financial Freedom Fast Lane, what I'm gonna show you how to do is in the meantime, let's make some money using AI. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Financial Freedom Fast Lane on Fridays. The quicker you get to your dream life, the longer you get to live it. And I'm just realizing I'm a little bit far away from the mic and I'm your host, George Achenpong. See, I try to be too cool and I was leaning back, but I didn't realize the mic was not close enough. So hopefully you guys can hear me. I like to keep it organic, I like to keep it real. But today we are gonna talk about a few ways that you can make money leveraging artificial intelligence, right? Right. It's only right. So before we get into it, a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, number one, I can't remember if I mentioned it on the last episode or not, but thank you guys so much who came out to our podcast tour for the Melanin Money Show. For those of you who are avid financial freedom fast lane watchers and have not checked out the Melanin Money Show, make sure you check out that, right? Uh, we had a really good time in Houston and our next stop is New York City. Welcome to New York City, the city of dreams, the city of lights. And we got, not only do we have a special guest on our podcast, we actually have somebody who's also hosting our podcast event. So if you live in New York City or wanna make the trip June 8th, we are having our next stop on the podcast tour in New York. A couple of days ago, maybe actually just yesterday as of this recording, I was ranked as a uh, top young advisors to watch in 2023 by Financial Advisor Magazine. So I was really very, very grateful for that honor. It means your boy still got it. He still knows what he's doing in these uh, financial advising streets. Cause for those of you who don't know, I'm just not a content creator on the internet. I don't just have a podcast. I have been an award-winning financial advisor for the past 12 plus years, 10, 10 12? At least 10. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do the math. I think it's about 12, right? Uh, matter of fact, I'm going uh, to send, I'm gonna send uh, Donald a, a graphic that he can use uh, to show y'all just how long I've been doing this. But yeah, guys, I've been a financial advisor for quite some time. And because I wanted to help more people, that's why I create the content. That's why I have a podcast. And that's why I do what I do. So I'm really, really grateful for that honor and that recognition of being considered one of the top advisors to watch in 20. 23. Young advisors. So I'm still young too. <laughs> All right. So artificial intelligence. Um, I know you've heard about chat GPT. Maybe you've explored it. Maybe you've tried it out. But one of the things that stuck out to me immediately um, with chat GPT is that someone could leverage it to be a copywriter, right? Um, copywriters make very great money. As a matter of fact, I have a copywriter uh, for my company, shout out to Aquania. She's amazing at what she does. If you've ever gotten an email from us in the past year, it probably was curated by her, right? So copywriting can be a very lucrative skill set because it ha has to be good, right? It has to convert. But by using Chat GPT, you could very well easily be a copywriter uh, for a business. You could offer email copywriting, say, hey, look, I'll write 20 emails a month for you for this flat rate. Um, you could be a copywriter for sales pages on websites. Hey, I'll write highly converting, highly engaging sales copy for your website. How do you know that you can do that? Because you can go over to ChatGPT and create the prompt. Create a highly engaging sales page for insert whatever the niche is, insert whatever the business is, right? So copywriting is most certainly a way to make money with AI. You might be saying, well, everybody knows about a a AI. Everybody knows about chat GPT. No, they don't, right? And even for those that do, they understand that they might not have the time to, for, let's take copywriting, for example. Even if I could use chat GPT to write my own copy, am I still gonna be the one to schedule the campaigns, make sure they get sent out, make sure I'm troubleshoot shooting them, assign them to the right segments. It still takes time to manage it. So at the very minimum, what, what somebody might want is like, hey, look, can you like create my, you know, at least create my copy um, and then maybe I have like a VA internally manage the process. You follow what I'm saying? So like 
don't think just because that it is simple and it is automated and it can be done at scale that everybody's going to take the time to learn it and do it because they're not that's with everything at the end of the day when at the invention of google right and youtube what you're watching this on people can learn how to do a variety of things but it doesn't mean they want to spend the time doing the thing convenience is a tax on the lazy and sometimes that's a good tax i am lazy about wanting to fix my car, change uh, uh, change my tire. I'm lazy about uh, putting stuff together in my house. I'm lazy about clean. Like, I don't wanna do any of that, right? And I don't even know if I would call it lazy. I just understand the value of my time and it doesn't make sense for me to do it when I can outsource it. And people understand that and they're willing to pay a premium for that if you do a good job. So consider copywriting as a skill that you can leverage artificial intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence for to start making money. Another one is using AI to write audiobooks, right? There are so many people who have already written books, but only a fraction of them probably have audiobooks, right? Because especially if the author had to read it, because maybe like the author was like, I would do audiobook, but I don't want to outsource it. I want it to sound like me. And I don't got the time to read my 500 page book for audiobook. So I'm not going to do it. Right. But if you can use a software that can regenerate their voice that's pretty close, right, to how they sound and replicate it, now what you could do is say, hey, I will write your audiobook for you in your voice. All I need to do is X, Y, and Z to get your audio sample and it'll sound whatever the percentile is, right? Like it'll sound just like you. Now you can go to all these people who are authors and offer a supplemental service for a product that they already have and maybe would like an audiobook for. Again, you're probably thinking, well, if I can do this, why wouldn't they just do it themselves? But the entire economy is based upon the middleman, right? Someone who wants to build the thing, someone who wants to buy the thing, and the person in the middle who connects too. It's arbitrage. So while you're thinking that they will just cut you out and want to do it themselves, they don't even want to own that little process of knowing what it takes to produce that audio book. What is the, the right software that's going to do it? What audio sample do I need to have in order to, or how many audio samples do I need to have to make my voice sound as close as possible, right? Those are things that you're going to research, right? In order to be able to be that middleman and broker that. You didn't have to write the book, but now you provide a service that can facilitate creating that audio book, right? Relatively streamlined. So consider creating audiobooks for people who are already authors and don't currently have them and want their book read in their voice. All right, creating digital products. This is probably one of the easiest ones, right? You literally can, and ChatGPT is not the only tool, but you can hop on ChatGPT or another tool like it. You can say, write ChatGPT, uh, create an uh, ebook and a nutritional guide that helps people uh, lose weight or something. It doesn't matter, right? Get as specific and creative as you want. Now you can have a low ticket ebook on your fast track 10 steps to losing 20 pounds before summer, whatever, right? Um, 10 beginner basics to X, Y, and Z. Now, personally, my personal belief, I'm, I'm not like, I'm here to give you an unbiased opinion. I'm not here to say, that I would do it or that even that you should. I'm just making you aware of things that you can do so that you don't have any excuses. Naturally, I'm old school. So for me, if I were to leverage AI um, for anything in terms of like digital, uh, digital products, it's just going to be to accelerate my output for something I'm already an expert in, right? If I don't, if I'm not an expert in fitness, I'm not gonna create an ebook on fitness using ChatGPT, right? But if I'm an expert in personal finance, wealth building, and entrepreneurship, I can use my creative brain based upon all the things that I've done in this space and my expertise to create, to ramp up my creative output, right? In order to produce more content, to create those eBooks and then go in there and put my own sauce and my own spin on it, right? If you don't know anything about the subject, would I do it? No. Could you do it technically speaking? Yes. But the other caveat is you still got to sell it. Right. So if you don't work out and you try to create an ebook on losing weight, good luck. Here's another idea I just I thought of in real time. You can go to uh, thought leaders, consultants, coaches, etc., 
who maybe have a service-based business and don't have a digital product and say, hey, look, I can create a ebook for you in 24 hours that's specified to your niche that you can start selling and to supplement your income alongside of your service-based business. Because believe it or not, a lot of people, entrepreneurs who are busy, they've been sitting on courses or books or eBooks or guides for a while, even though they have the expertise. So you can figure out a series of questions that you can ask from them so that the ebook will sound like it's in their tone, you know, the exact types of things they cover. Um, and the truth be told, here's the real truth. The truth be told, because it's AI in the first place, and it's not gonna take you a lot of effort to get it done, you could probably do some preliminary research for a thought leader and say, hey, I did some research on your area of expertise. I saw that you have a service-based business and I think you'd be a great person to start selling a ebook on what you do so that you can scale your offer and help uh, more people. I actually went ahead and took the liberties and, took a, and created a first draft for you. If you like it, you can buy it from me, uh, buy the rights from me, right? All you gotta do is sign this little agreement it's yours. I'll sign over the rights to it, intellectual property. How easy is that, right? You've already done the work, but because it doesn't require so much effort on your part besides a little research, now that's a much easier and better conversation. Say, I've already written you a book, and if you want it, then we can talk about what it costs. Powerful, right? But I, you know, so that's just, I'm not saying you got to do that, but that's just an option if you want to find creative ways to get in the door versus just being the person like, hey, I think you should try to write an ebook, right? Okay, cool. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. That may or may not get you in the door, but if you come with value for something that didn't really require much effort on your part to create, you might increase your odds of them actually wanting to buy from you. All right, and one more way that you can make money using AI is being a research assistant for a content creator, right? So creating content online is not easy, right? You see people post YouTube videos. You see me, I post a video every single week. And for me, I do have a lot of topics, but it's just timing, right? Um, but content creation is not easy, you know You know what I mean? So imagine being able to go to a content creator and say, hey, look, I see that you're an expert in this area um, and you produce so much content. I know sometimes it might be hard to come up with new, innovative and creative ideas. I would love to be a research assistant for you to every single Monday or every single Sunday, whenever they start their week, I will give you 10 fresh content ideas for the week ahead, right? However you wanna position it. That could be very, very beneficial. And again, yes, there's some content creators who are aware of AI and who could do this themselves. Are every one of them gonna do it? No, that's not your customer. Some people are not gonna do it or maybe even still oblivious to AI or just don't wanna make the time to do it, even though it's simple, even though you know it can be done fast and that's where you find your sweet spot. That arbitrage between the person who just isn't willing to do it, your ability to leverage some information and a skill and some technology and being able to bridge that gap for them. <laughs> um, so guys, yeah, being a research assistant, you can get really creative with it, right? It's like maybe they uh, wanna stay up to date on current events. I don't know if AI can give them current events, but you definitely can figure out a way to be creative for that content creator be creative for that content creator, that's a lot of C's, um, in order to provide value to them uh, to supplement their content output, right? Knowing that they can just show up, they got topics, like that could be really, really cool. And because you can leverage this technology at scale, I think you can get creative, you can get really thorough, and just do things that they probably or organically wouldn't think of, but you can do it in a way that's streamlined for you, but seems really valuable for them, right? So, I hope that that was helpful four easy ways that you can start making money in artificial intelligence right now. Let me know if you're gonna try any of these out. Let me know some other ways that you've thought about making money with AI. And of course, as always, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this episode if you find it valuable, right? And I will see you next week. And as always, Financial Freedom Fast Lane. As you know, financial freedom is for sale. All you have to do is be willing to pay the price.